Julian, the World Cup is over for the Pumas. First match, last match, England. Do you think it could have been different, Julian, as captain, for the whole of the tournament? How are the players, Nico Sanchez, Agustin, all the players, how are they all after the end of this game? Thank you. It's possible, true, the game could have ended differently when you, especially when you look at the final 15 minutes. But the match ended the way it ended. We did everything we could. We deserved more. Uh, both in terms of results and in terms of refereeing. But if we miss two or three chances, that's what happens. We lose by three points. It's not a lot. But it is what it is. Could you repeat the question, please? Yes. We're all very sad. It hurts. The game we played hurt us. To have been captain is something I tried to do my best at. I'm sure I made some mistakes. But the group has been fabulous. I want to thank them all the players, all of the staff. I'm very proud of the team. Clearly, we can improve. We need to be able to control what we're able to control. But we can look ourselves, look at ourselves in the mirror. We're not feeling good, but we won together and we'll lose together. And now we'll need a day or two together. Good evening. A question for both of you. Um, what do you take out of this World Cup, positive and negative? For me, To be here on the 27th of October is very positive. It's positive for the fans, it's positive for us. When we got here, we wanted to be in France until at least the 22nd. And it's a good thing to be here today. What is missing for us is excellence. We need it. But we have the capacity and the ability to overcome obstacles. It's hard to accept losing this game. It's hard to draw any positives after losing this game. But I... believe that our trajectory over this World Cup will have made Argentinians proud. There's a lot of emotion. We'll be back stronger. And for us, that is important. We hope that in Argentina, people are proud of their team, even if we lost today. Positives, yes. The people who supported us, there is no doubt. Over seven games, we felt as we were as though we were playing at home. Even the people who weren't able to come, 
we received messages from all over the world. And that is the best thing that could happen for us. We played seven games. That is also positive. We, there are things we can imp improve, clearly. It's hard to talk about positives when we just lost barely 20 minutes half an hour ago. But it's what Michael said. We wanted Argentina to be proud of us, to show that we could do great things. Today, we didn't go as far as we'd have liked. But we're hurting, clearly. But we don't want to make victims of ourselves. We need to carry on. A question for both of you. Uh, looking back at the game, during the first few minutes, the Pumas committed a lot of errors and then it turned it around a bit. And at times, There were errors. Why in the first few minutes so many errors? Now, be careful. It's not systematic. But in this game, yes, two or three errors, two or three penalties given away. We just started the game and we're losing by 10 or 13 points. I can't even remember. But we're not afraid of such moments. we have the capacity to come back. The 15 last minutes of the first half were very good. Then, the substitutes who came off the bench brought something to the game, maybe not as much as we'd have liked. The scrum, when you look at how we were penalised, I can't understand it. Three or four scrums that we were dominating and despite that we got no reward for it. For me it's a very surprising. And in the second half, we should have taken our opportunities more from our good times. We didn't score enough points when we were at our best. Yes, I agree with Michael. We started poorly, we improved. There were hard times, but we never panicked. And we managed to reverse the score line. We'd have loved it to be linear, for everything to work perfectly, smoothly. But at the moment, we know we have moments of weakness and we're trying to do everything we can to improve that. At the end of the first half would have been the perfect moment for us.
Michael, can you give us an analysis of the team over the tournament without talking about the results or emotions, but just on the technical level? And another question, is this your last match as a head coach? On the technical side... I think we can talk about the work off the ball. Also, the touch was a very important weapon for us. Moles and scrums, well, we need to be more consistent. Sometimes we're very good, very effective, but at other times we miscue. And we want to be more consistent. Excellence, consistency, and the ability to confront obstacles and get back up after a difficult period. In all technical areas, these are the important points that we need to follow up on. Also, for our in, a, in attack, we are looking for more consistency. But the ability not to panic and to win despite encountering difficulties, the work in the rucks was positive. We suffered during the first game, but after that, the ruck was excellent. We had three. We won balls in the ruck, whether it was tonight, whether the previous game. But it, what's clear is that by the end of November, there will be a debrief and we will see. We will carry out our assessment to that point and we will set out the goals for our improvement over the next cycle and we will see where we'll get to hello uh, first uh, Julian then Michael I never seen you with such a sad face You've got a fixed stare. I don't know what you're thinking about, but this group, uh, probably the majority of them will carry on playing, even though some of them have been there since 2015. What do you see f for the future, if you can think beyond the sadness? For Michael, You said, I will go back to Argentina and I will speak. Does that mean maybe that you not you haven't decided your future yet? And it would be a good thing you might be able to improve your Spanish. Well, yes, of course, I'm sad. Yeah, you know very well why. It hurts. With everything that's behind us, everything we want to represent, it's over, and I don't want it to be over. For two months, I did what I love most in the world, representing my country. Our shirt will remain. We, the players, will move, move on. But what we want to do is inspire the players of the future. And furthermore, we've lost. We haven't got the medal. We're sad. Yes, I'm sad. Yes. The other question in terms of 2015. Yes, it's true. There was a base, a foundation laid. There is 
a group of players for the future, yes. The Argentine Federation has done some marvellous work. It's hard for me to talk about positive things. I'm, I'm really struggling to. But when you see players such as Sinti, Chocobares, Gonzalez, they are all playing at the right level. And with the mix of experience and youth, we have got a group, we've got a very united group, and that is positive. We're hurting, clearly, but we want to continue. We need to work. I have a very good relationship with everybody. When I arrived in 2022, it, it was clear we're going for two years, we're preparing for the World Cup. Contopomi is not far off, he's getting good results, he's a good coach. And that's always been part of the conversation. We will decide now what is best for the Pumas in the future. Will I continue? Will I not continue? We'll see. That will be decided. Maybe we need a change. Take another step with Felipe. But that's not what's important. I want this team to win, for them to have success. They took with them a piece of my heart. We haven't talked about this until now. It's not something I'm concerned about at all. I know that when it comes to talking about it, we will take the best decision for all. Thank you. I would like to thank all the media, all the Argentine media, and ask apologise to them for my terrible Spanish. It was important for us to have a link with a connection with the fans, to have support in Argentina and here. It's for you that we do this work. Maybe it's not linear progress, but we do appreciate having had your support over two months. Thank you very much.